This one does have a theme. This is gonna go with this car. Oh man, here we go. All right, we're gonna do a quick little video on uh, my two censored cars. These are two, both EMB1s. And this one is the one that you guys have seen in many videos. And this is the one that's brand new. I have not rent, uh, driven this one yet. So what we're looking at difference here is uh, basically, this is a 8.5 turn. This is a 5,000 KV censored setup. And I believe it's running, I went down to a, nine, a 17 tooth. I was running 18 tooth originally. And I just didn't like the heat that was coming out of it. So we went down in pinion uh, just for uh, especially the hotter days. So did that. Um, everything else on here is pretty much um, factory LC. So we have the factory LC pop-up parts on the hubs, aluminum. Which definitely is, a, if it gives it definitely a, a more of a durable, um, less breaking point on the hubs. They're not going to break. It has a little bit of wiggle to it also. Um, that's actually the bearing, but yeah, that's where it should be. So this bearing is probably toast. Should probably switch that one out. So it has a little bit of, um, wiggle and what that does on the carpet, it actually, um, it kind of relieves some of the stress that actually creates within, uh, when at high speed, when you're going really fast, your wheels are like kind of, uh, wiggling quite a bit. And that little bit of extra slop actually kind of uh, tones that out a little bit. So that's the purpose of them, um, especially for carpet. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, something that you actually really need, but um, it's it's a cool little feature. You know, it's cool if you're, you know, someone that's kind of abusive on your car and want it to be a little more durable. So let's see some carpet in there I need to get out. So that's this setup um, i'm also running this is a track star um this is a tsp 125 or 12s i think it is so this is a digital cordless they don't sell this one anymore i've tried looking for almost a year for these so they don't make these anymore the closest thing i think to this would be uh this one right here is called the r6 and i don't know if it's technically um if, if it's better i don't know what um, comparability wise I can't say for sure because I haven't tested it yet I have two of them uh, this is the only one that's actually installed so I'm gonna probably run this one pretty soon and see how that actually does run um, but this one is a, a 10.5 turn this is a, a 4000 kV and this one has boost set this one's gonna have boost and turbo set this one with the turbo it's a little bit too much um, extra top end on this track so this one running at 4,000 kV, I should be able to actually use the boost and turbo combined and, um, you know, get everything uh, probably comparable to this one. I believe I'm running at 18 tooth here. This is running the 17 tooth. So it's going to be a really good comparison between these two uh, just to see what the different kVs are. Um, just so people know uh, what it takes to actually drill these out. I'll probably make a separate video on how to do this, but just to move uh, your servo, if you want to go with the bigger servo or smaller servo, you're basically just uh, measure, making a quick measurement and just drilling it and then actually kind of uh, making the reset uh, recess for it to sit into. So that's it right there, kind of sitting flush. And I did a chassis protector. Uh, these can just kind of be made by hand if you actually get some like 3M like protecting uh, vinyl Just lay it on top. You can kind of trace it uh, the best of your ability and then um, Or you could even use something that's clear originally just to kind of get a basic cut out of it And then you can kind of just you know use an exacto knife and kind of cut the rest of it Your whole whole purpose is to kind of protect the chassis here this front part right here um, I have tried to run it all the way in the front and it does catch right here start pulling it back so I did cut it right there to see if that would actually prevent that from happening I do have another trash protector that actually does not have this front part and it does not rip off so I think having it all the way up front is probably going to be the the error on uh, running it um, for a carpet so this is a TS80 this is the 80 amp ESC it's uh, pretty much sold for these motors really good motors I like the way they sound uh, very tunable and uh, very uh, very consistent and very accurate so this would be the way that I would set these up um, this is a aluminum chassis I did do a vinyl wrap on the inside of the carbon fiber right before I built it 
so it gives it a a carbon look on the inside real dark clean look on the inside so this one does not have a theme yet I'm probably going to figure this one out on a theme um, yeah I'm not sure about this one this is gonna be an interesting one because I want to do something cool on that one so this one will be getting its own identity very soon but this one actually does have an identity and we're about to see it for the first time right now so this is its new body and uh, it's been painted and I have not unpeeled it yet so I'm actually gonna look at it for the first time with everyone and see what it looks like and this one does have a theme so we're gonna see what it looks like in just a second this body I was actually considering putting on the the new censored but the ES uh, the, actually the receiver that's set up for it is uh, okay the receiver that's set up for it is not set up for this body because the receiver has to be set further back so because this one's already set up for this car this is going to go with this car and I'll make something cool for the other car oh man here we go drum roll please So this is Agent 47. I tried to do the best I could to get this thing all painted up good, but looks like there's some imperfections I'll square out later. So this is a gloss black. Um, this is bright red from Tamiya. No, Duratrax actually. Duratrax bright red. This is a silver uh, Tamiya PS, TS, PS41. And no, actually the silver's here on the gun. I try to do some splatter in there. I tried to do the handle the best that I could. It was really hard to do. I actually tried to put some lines in there. I wanted to see if that would actually work. I just used a, like a Sharpie just to give some lines. And it's there, but it, it looks like it kind of moved when I was actually dabbing it with uh, the silver. I didn't actually spray the silver. I just dabbed it with a brush just to see what that would, uh, the effect they would give, if it would give a different effect or what exactly would happen. So, looks pretty decent. Um, I think I wish I would have blend a little bit harder on those lines um, with the actual marker instead of using the dark gray, but looks pretty good. Um, this is a gun metal up here mixed with the silver. So it's supposed to be darker, but it looks like the silver's coming out a little bit more. So yeah, this is Agent 47. Oh man. Looks good, it's not perfect, but it looks really good. So I'm impressed with it. I'm happy with this one. Alright, let's put a battery in it and let's take it for a little drive. <laughs> 